Hi, I'm Bryce Merkel-Sasaki, and we're here at GraphConnect Europe, and I have with me Irina Belauer, a postdoctoral researcher at the European Institute for Systems Biology and Medicine. So, Irina, can you talk to me about how um, you use Neo4j? What, pro what project are you using it on? So, um, I'm using uh, Neo4j as part of uh, ITRIX uh, project, which is a European uh, project, a, collaborate, a large collaboration between uh, research academia and the pharma companies. And the purpose is to develop a um, knowledge um, a management system for translation medicine. So mm -hmm. it's basically to come closer to, to clinicians, to, okay. to facilitate uh, you, uh, so to, to develop tools that can be used easily by clinicians. This is the, the main, let's say, the scope, kind of like translation mm -hmm. medicine. And um, yes, I'm, uh, I'm working on uh, Neo4j, using Neo4j to develop different um, um, components framework to mm -hmm. uh, we are basically using for a multi-scale approach uh, for in systems biology and medicine. So mm -hmm. yes. Okay. Yes. Great. So why did you choose Neo4j? Well, the O4J was the best solution. We can found it at the, the time, and we are still very happy with. So it offers like an agile solution for what we need it. We, we need for data management. And data management is in biomedical data is uh, characterized by uh, high um, being heterogeneous, first of all, high mm -hmm. connected data, let's say. We needed to, to, to infer new associations among concepts. So for example, having a protein, which is a biomarker for, for a disease, and mm -hmm. then a drug which is targeting that protein. Can we infer a relationship between the drug and the disease? So that's why we kind of like use Neo4j. So it's basically when I'm referring to data management, I'm referring to data integration, and this mm -hmm. is really yeah. nice, done by Neo4j. Uh, data exploration, data, okay. uh, so we use predefined algorithmic um, methods already provided by Neo4j uh, framework, or we developed through, through different languages, programming languages. Uh, data exploration, data visualization as well, and um, yes, yes, I would say in best way. So data analysis, let's say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, any, uh, what were some of your most surprising results or most um, interesting moments that you've had since using Neo4j? So, um, for one of the components that I even presented today slightly is um, um, genetic epigenetic um, interdependencies framework. And I was using that the database for my PhD project. And I developed like a Bayesian network uh, using that data. And I developed it like very heavily programming, let's say, while when I discovered Neo4j, it was the first thing kind of like to try to translate that database into a graph database using Neo4j. And after a couple of hours of work, let's say, I had basically the initial database with genetic and epigenetic interdependencies in Neo4j. I was, honestly, I was very happy because it's easier to, to, to work further, to infer, as I said, uh, associations. So I think would have helped me when I started if I knew about Neo4j kind of like four, five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But there are also other, also, yes, other things also. So, for example, for human metabolic um, reconstruction, we have integrated data into Neo4j, and one of my friend was very, one of my colleague was very happy to to play around, let's say, with some metabolites that he was interested in, and to see the subnetworks and the neighborhoods and shortest pathways among different metabolites of interest for him, and then he he was asking if he can do more and so on. So yes, this is also nice. Then looking to some people. To to some of our colleagues who basically are happy to, to use Cypher because it's, um, um, it's declarative, let's say. So they see asthma, they're very interested. They see, they write asthma. Uh, they see, I'm not sure what protein. They write the name. So it's in this way. So yes, it's okay. nice. <laughs> nice. Um, and then if you took everything you know about Neo4j right now, yes. and you could go back in time to the beginning, what would you do differently? Not necessarily uh, different. Um, I would somehow. So what I need basically now, I need to connect um, 
of uh, output from Neo4j, like JSON or something like this, with mm -hmm. our tools, which are all well established by uh, systems biology community, let's say in this way, because I'm working in systems biology, but I assume that there are also other domains. So it's kind of like to, to some tools to, to share networks or to some tools to do more mm -hmm. analytics or something like this, like a, a, a more smooth pipeline, let's say, or some what I would need is kind of like something, an interface to help clinicians and uh, so communication with clinicians and with biologists, let's say in this way, is quite well represented, let's say, when I'm with them, they are happy, but kind of like when they are alone, they are a little bit kind of like looking to go to both circles and so on, so yes, in this way. But other than that, yes, I, I, I admire the way they afford so. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yes. Good. Anything else you want to add or say? Any closing thoughts? Well, I'm looking to 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 download Neo4j 3.0. So I'm kind <laughs> of like uh, since this morning um, enthusiastic. So yes, this is my uh, my kind of like my uh, wish to when I go home. So yes, to see how how it behaves, how what is new. I kind of like understood, but still kind of like ways different ways well, a computer mm -hmm. scientist when basically try ourselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much. And um, yeah. Thank you very much for inviting me here at Graph Connect. So, yes, I had a very nice time.